वेलकम टू द लेक्चर ऑफ पावर सिस्टम ऑपरेशन एंड कंट्रोल माय सेल्फ प्रोफेसर गौरांग सिंह पटेल फ्रॉम महात्मा गांधी इंस्टीट्यूट ऑफ टेक्निकल एजुकेशन एंड रिसर्च सेंटर सो स्टूडेंट्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द सेकंड चैप्टर पावर सिस्टम सिक्योरिटी द सम ऑफ द क्वेश्चन एंड आंसर वी वर डिस्कस इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर दैट वॉज लेक्चर नंबर फोर सो इट इज द यू कैन कंसिडर इट इज अ पार्ट टू ऑफ दैट लेक्चर Uh, so we will begin with the remaining uh, question and answer in this video lectures okay okay so we will begin with this uh, new question that is define generation shift factor and line out a distribution factor in relation to security analysis and that was asked in gtu examination in winter 2017 okay so how can you answer this question that i will explain to you in this video lecture so first of all we will uh, understand the question that is define generation shift factor and line out a distribution factor in relation to security analysis so first of all you what you have to see that is analyzing in details a large number of contingencies is a difficult task because uh, you uh, we all know that our power system that is a very vast or very big system so for the contingency for each and every generator or for each and every transmission line that is a very difficult task so for in easy approximate way to quickly compute any possible violation of operating limit is the one of the linear sensitivity factors okay so for that we are deciding the two methods that is first generation shift factors and second one that is the line out it distribution factor we will see one by one how it is going to be proceed and how it is going to be work so which will be helpful to analyze our power system security so if we will discuss with the first generation shift factor so in generation shift factor you can see they calculate the effect of change in generation on the line flow as shown in below okay so when you will see first of all it is uh, we will start with the first equation that is alpha is equal to del f by del p okay where alpha is the linearized generation shift factor for else line so alpha we are considering as a linearized generation shift factor for a uh, given line and we will take uh, the else line as an alpha so for a change in output i generator and what we are considering for the del f del f is the megawatt change in power flow in the line and del p in the change in generation at the i bus so that is del f what we are considering as a del f that is a megawatt change in power flow and del p is the change in generation at the i bus okay so it is assumed here that the change in generation at the i bus is picked up by the reference bus and the new values of power flow in each line can be found with this equation so for the finding out the new values of the generation you have to uh, take uh, take in consideration of this equation that is the f new is equal to f old plus alpha into del pi okay where i you are considering the i that is equal to number of lines which lines we are considering line number 1 line number 2 etc okay and f old is the power flow in the else line before the i generator went out okay now here we are we have to assuming that is p old to be the output of the i generator before fault okay so two situation we have to keep in mind uh, before the fault and after the fault in that before the fault we have to consider the p old and it can be expressed when you are considering this p old you have to express this equation with the fl new is equal to f old plus alpha into del pi old where once again i is equal to 1 to a number of lines for the old old consideration okay now once the new values of flows are computed for all the lines they are compared with corresponding line flow limits okay and operators are alarmed in case of any limit violations okay whenever there is a some violated value coming into the picture or coming into the system we have to uh, immediately inform to the operators okay so in practical power system due to governor actions the loss of generation at the bus i may be compensated by the generators throughout the system and a frequently used method is to assume that the loss of generation is distributed among participating generators in proportion to their 
maximum megawatt rating okay so therefore the proportion of generation pick up by the jet generator is given by that is by gi is equal to p max divided by sigma of pk max okay so over here you can see where p max or p is the maximum megawatt rating of the k generator so number of generator we are considering in that system and for the particular generator if you want to evaluate what what is the exact condition of that then you have to consider that the p is the maximum megawatt rating of the k generator and ng is the number of participating generators where yji yji is the proportionality factor for pick up on generating unit j when unit i fails okay so the new line flows are the given by this equation that is f1 new is equal to f1 old plus alpha li del pi minus sigma ali by iji del pi okay so with the help of this equation you will get the new value of f so one note is given over here what this note is suggested it is assumed here that no unit hits its generating limit okay so this is all about the first point now second point or second method that is the line outage distribution factor so the line out what what is the consideration we are taking in the line outage distribution factor that we will see that is line outage distribution factors are used to quickly check line overloading as a result of outage of any transmission line and are defined as a follow following equation that is they dlk is equal to del fl divided by del f del fk old okay so where d dlk is the line outage distribution factor for line l after an outage of line k and del fl that is the del fl is the change in mega outflow in line l due to the outage outage of line k now for fk old is the flow is line k before its outage so what uh, you have to keep in mind that the new value of the line flow is given by with this equation okay when you are finding the new value in this method you have to consider this equation f new is equal to f1 old plus dlk into fk old okay so now we will uh, see these are the two methods that you can uh, it will help to you that is uh, generation shift factor and the line out, generation shift factor and the line out is distribution factor okay now uh, i hope you understood very well this uh, answer and how you can give the answer of if this question is asked for the for the in your examination okay now further we will uh, see the next portion that is the flow chart for contingency selection and that was that was also asked in winter 2017 examination so student this question is also repeatedly asked in the examination so please uh, keep in mind that you must have to prepare this question very carefully so you may you will able to answer this question in the examination okay so here that is the flow chart of Uh, the contingency analysis is given we will begin with this flow chart uh, any function we will going to begin we first we have to initiate that function so we will start this function then we will go towards the set system model to initial condition where we are taking the i line that is a uh, which number of line we have to simulate that we have we will consider that is i is equal to one after we get the si simulation or result for that that after that simulate an outage of generator i using the system model okay then we have to consider the any line flows exit limit okay so so uh, you can see over here that is the contingency analysis is one of the security analysis application in power uni utility control center so its purpose is to analyze the power system in order to ide identify the overload situation so for the contingency analysis is abnormal condition in electrical network it put whole system or a part of the system under stress it occurs due to sudden opening of transmission line generator tripping and sudden change in generation so sudden uh, and also you have to consider the sudden change in load value as well so for the contingency analysis provides tools for managing
creating analyzing and reporting lists of contingencies and associated violations okay so this over here that is is used as a study tool for the offline analysis and of contingency events and as for the operating conditions okay so once again we we can see in this analysis the most difficult methodological problem to cope with in contingency analysis is the accuracy of the method and the speed of solution of the model used and the operator usually needs to know if the present operation of the system is secure and what will happen if a particular outage occurs okay so by analyzing the effects of contingency events in advance problems and unstable situation can be identified for critical configuration can be recognized okay so let us consider then n power system components are there in power system and if one component that is one generator or a one line in a transmission system fails or outage is happens then this event is called n minus 1 contingency analysis whereas if two components two lines in a transmission system or a generator and transmission line in the system fails or outage two failures then this event is called n minus 2 contingency analysis so the contingency analysis process procedure that is the given with this flow chart over here in figure okay so so over here we can see that now so when you see this graph you can see that is simulation outage of generation or using the system model once you will simulate that any line flows if any line flows exceed the limit then you have to check if it is yes then display alarm message and this signal is no that means there is no exceeds exceeds in any lines then you have to go further and one more block is coming over here that is any bus voltage is outside limit so after checking this line limit you have to go for the any bus voltage is outside the limit okay if it is also okay then last generator is done you have to consider as the last generator is done and if any line line outage of any bus is happen then display alarm message is given to that particular unit okay now when last generator is considered each and every generators are going to be considered if it is if this process if this process is finished then you have to go further and if it is not then what you have to do going or, or begin with the once again this procedure so follow all these parts and if it is okay then and then you have to go ahead with that okay so once the generators and lines are considered then you have to see that is a simulation outage of line 1 using the system model and now over here any line flows exceed the limit once again you have to check and give the messages to particular unit okay so over here in that below block that is considering for the line and above blocks those are considering for the generator so once again we we have to simulate for that and if any line flows exceed the limit the same procedure is going to be initiated display the message if it is okay then go for checking for the bus voltage outside limit then if bus voltage is okay then going for the last line and if it is not then display the message to the engineers or that is uh, or that operators okay now if each and every line and if if each and every generator have has been considered then go for this ending this procedure okay so that's how the contingency analysis is going to be useful and how and it will be done with this uh, this proce this procedure so if in examination the flow chart of contingency selection is has been uh, will be asked then i hope you will be able to uh, give the answer for the contingency selection and uh, you can draw the flow chart and you you can easily explain it okay thank you so at last students uh, i am always giving you a message uh, for saving the electricity please remember turn off the light when it is not required okay so the save electricity and save energy okay thank you very much